harness sorted. Don't let one rope loop to another. I call this stripping in. As long as each loop goes over the last, it will not tangle. This is what I call stripping in. We'll do this for the entire length of the flight string. If the bundle gets too high and looks like it's going to jump out of the bag, push it down centrally. Do not tuck into one corner. Go straight down. These stripped loops must go in directly on top of each other while holding your flight strings tight. Right. Now as when you get to your flight handles, which have been held tightly on your flight pack, don't twist your handles. Your handles must go in exactly the way they are laying. Short rope, long rope. Guess what? The short rope goes in first, the long rope lays on top. Your flight pegs can then fit in there as well, and there's your airfoil kite pack. To unpack your airfoil kite, take your flight pegs out, jam them in the ground nice and hard, pull your handles out exactly the way they went in. Put them on the peg. the rope out of the bag neatly. It should come out exactly how it went in. It should not loop. Walk directly into the wind. Once you get to the end of your flight line, your harness should just shake out along with the kite. Check, your trim tab might be twisted there. You should be able to open the kite if your cameraman's not on your flight screen. Into the wind so that it parks. Take the handle off, wrap your bag around there. Check your lines to twist. You may have to twist one or two. And the kite should take off cleanly. We don't have a lot of wind today, but there you go. Keep it low. Together, Jess, you're doing one side of the time.
should unpack the nice time to get it too high because it's straight down. I'll take it from the corner. Very good. Right on. Just work our way along like that to the flight handle. Careful not to twist them, and the short end goes in first. Yep, right out, your flight pegs over the top. Too easy.